here we are going to derive the displacement function u and j function for a beam and in this beam so we are making this as an element so we are considering this beam as an element and we are having two nodes one and two the displacement of the node one is represented as u1 and two is represented as u2 or else we can consider this u1 and u2 are the boundary conditions and the length of this beam is l and we are considering this direction as x direction so initially after we are choosing that so our objective is to find the displacement at any of this point so that is by some function we are going to find the displacement if at the end points if the displacement are given by some function we are going to find the displacement at the intermediate points so arbitrarily we are choosing that, that displacement u is equal to a0 plus a1x this a0 and a1 are unknown so we should find that for that first at x equal to 0 that is at node 1 we know displacement is equal to u1 so we will put x is equal to 0 and we will get u1 as a0 and at x is equal to 2 we get u as u2 so now at x equal to l we get u as u2 so that is a0 u2 is equal to a0 plus a1 into l so we have obtained that too u1 u2 are obtained then we will write this in matrix form as u1 u2 1 0 1 0 1 l into a0 l. so when we are multiplying this we will get these two equations so just representing these two equations in the matrix form so from which we can find a0 by a1 that is we will take this on the opposite side so that it will become inverse so a0 by a1 is equal to 1 0 1 and inverse into u1 u2 so for finding the inverse of a matrix we should find this is the adjoint of the matrix and this is the determinant of the matrix so j by determinant a will give you the inverse of a matrix so this matrix inverse can be found by this method and it is obtained as 1 by l into l0 minus of 1 so this is the inverse into u1 u2 so now we have obtained a0 a1 so in the equation 1 we are right that is this u can be written as u is equal to 1x a0 a1 that is just the matrix representation of this particular equation so when we are multiplying it we will get this equation it's arbitrary equation in that arbitrary equation a0 a1 are unknown so this matrix a0 a1 will be substituted from here so we are substituting this a0 a1 here such that now we can rewrite the equation on as u is equal to 1x into 1 by n L0 minus 1 into u1 u2. So, this is not the above equation. From equation 2, we have substituted this a0 a1 value. Now, on rearranging it, we will get like this. Then we will multiply these two matrices. So, on multiplying this, we will get L minus x into x. So, we are, we are having a 1 by n outside the bracket. So, we are taking it into the matrix. So, at last, we will get u is equal to L minus x by L into x by n into u1 u2. Or when we are multiplying it, we can write in the equation in equation form u is equal to l minus x by l u1 plus x by l u2. Now, if we are knowing this x distance, suppose say x is equal to l by 3. So, if we are having this x distance, we will substitute l by 3 in place of x and we will get the displacement at that particular point. So, now we have obtained a variable that is displacement by an equation l minus x by l u1 plus x by l u2 so if you are writing it we can write like this u is equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2 where u1 and u2 are the variable that is the displacement at the ends n1 is actually the shape function at the node 1 n2 is the value of shape function at node 2 so this function by comparing these two equations, we can say that the shape function n1 is equal to l minus x by l and shape function n is equal to x by l. So, if you are checking uh, whether this l minus x by l and x by l obeys the uh, laws of this shape function, for that we know for a shape function this is n1, so that the value of this function, shape function at node 1 will be 1. 
unity. So at the node 1, x is equal to 0, L by L, that is, shape function n one is 1, and at x is equal to 0, the other node, that is here, there is only one more node, that is the second node, so 0 by L, 0. So that means this n one and n two are shape functions. So by this derivation, we have obtained two things. One is, by this equation, we are able to obtain the displacement at the intermediate point of these two nodes, 1 and 2. And the second thing is, we are able to obtain the shy functions, n1 and n2. So, by simply just considering an equation u is equal to a0, a1 x arbitrarily, and by applying the boundary condition, we are able to derive the displacement function and shy function. Thank you.